AQY210EH. It looks like optocouple, but yeah, it's kind of a specialized optocouple. Uh, it's interesting because it's in fact a solid state relay and it's not classical solid state relay based on track. Instead, it has uh, metal oxide transistors inside, and because of that, it can be used to PWM. However, it also means that it can on also only handle small power, like 18 to 30 watts. Uh, it's rated for z 0 0.13 amps, and it provides few uh, 5 kilovolts of isolation. Uh, also, it's really cheap and you can, for example, switch uh, like uh, phone, char phone chargers to it and similar small electronics. Uh, but if you want to switch higher loads, uh, you can still use not, not only switch but also regulate. But you can also use uh, this one, which is a quite cheap track uh, track uh, regulator or dimmer. And I found a way how you can connect uh, one to another. Uh, this can dim or regulate up to two kilowatts, and. Basically, it has pot, which uh, can be used to regulate the output voltage in bit. Uh, the, the output waveform is not really nice, but it, it works. It can dim light bulbs. Uh, it's not really uh, good for dimming LEDs or fluorescent bulbs, but yeah, for incandescent bulbs and uh, such things it works quite well also it can be used to regulate uh, speed of universal motors to some extent which is why I'm really interested into it and what I did is uh, that I cut the trace uh, that uh, goes to this spot yeah, it's, it's right here I, I cut it and I put uh, two wires across it and connected it to this uh, special optocouple and this is really nice because it allows me to control it with Arduino and I basically found uh, this concept when I've been looking for uh, some controller for spindle for my CNC mill and uh, I, I found there are similar circuits out there but uh, this is way cheaper if you make it this way uh, you can for example connect motor on the AC out of, of the track dimmer and then use uh, some kind of optical feedback and uh, you can use Arduino code to uh, regulate the power that goes to motor and um, keep it at uh, uh, at the RPMs you want from the motor. So I, I think you should really check this, these components, this AQI, really nice thing. Check this out. Also, uh, you should know about this trick that you can just cut the, cut the trace on it and use it with this optocoupler coupler to regulate power directly from Arduino because this opto optocoupler uh, works similar to LED so if you can blink the LED from Arduino it's basically all you need to, to control this stuff if you know PWM you, you can re regulate it uh, as you wish uh, I found that it's good to operate this on, on between uh, 400 to 8000 hertz uh, I would recommend 1 kilohertz because it seems to work nice at this frequency if you go lower 
it it might uh, be that uh, it it will blink. For example, when I connected the boop and uh, you still over than 400 hertz, it start blinking and be a bit shady. And if you go higher than uh, 8000 hertz, it's uh, the Arduino uh, will not uh, open or tr trigger the optocouple. Uh, fast enough uh, for it to work, so I wouldn't recommend that either. And yeah, that's it. And uh, I think I can show you some demo. And here is the prototype. You can see the Arduino, and it has the optocouple and uh, LED connected with the optocouple in series, so I can see if it's active or not. And that's it. You just directly connect it to Arduino, and then there goes the wire to the uh, to the triac regulator. Uh, one thing uh, you have to know about this is that uh, the Chinese ones came with this uh, metallic pot, and it's uh, not really safe for this use. So under any circumstances, uh, you should touch. Uh, the pot while it's under the power you should disconnect it before tweaking it because uh, it can give you electric shock however uh, you might be uh, it might be required for you to turn the pot uh, varying, uh, depending on the load so you can have best uh, range of action uh, for given output of, of the Arduino, so uh, I just uh, took my pliers and uh, isolated pliers and turned it uh, until I get the smooth output that I've been looking for. Yeah, so here you can see that the bulb is basically pulsating uh, the same way as the LED. And yeah, it's like minimum uh, minimal number of components you can have for this application if Arduino optocoupler and track regulator and you can uh, regulate quite uh, heavy loads like this also uh, that's one more safety concern that I forgot to mention and that is uh, that in my prototype I directly use this wire to bring the AC voltage to my breadboard and it's isolated right here but uh, if I would be doing this in real application I would put the optocoupler in an isolated box uh, along with this track regulator and then I would uh, use external wiring to only uh, provide the power for the LED inside the optocoupler so uh, there will be no uh, dangerous voltage uh, leaving the power section of that circuit and there will be no way that I could short it to the Arduino. Also I used the power bank to uh, have kind uh, kind of isolated setup and just for safety concerns that uh, I didn't want it to blow my laptop if uh, something goes wrong however uh, since the optocoupler, optocoupler provides the isolation uh, it should be safe to connect this uh, to any USB port you might have